yesterday i uploaded some pics on my instagram profile and i really like the colors on them i just used some uh, random filters on the prequel app but i like the effect so much that i want to use them on my videos also so what i did was i imported all the clips and davinci resolve and tried to match the colors and in this video i'm going to discuss how close i got in color matching and all the methods that i use and which one i prefer i know my videos are pretty boring but yeah i am improving day by day just have a look at the video if okay so i have imported all the clips here and as i said the first method i used was a uh, short match to this clip so basically what we have to do is we have to select our reference clip and then we have to click on the clip on which we have to apply the effect and just right click and short match to this clip but as you can see it didn't work out so well so i had to choose another method second method i chose was to use a plugin called dehancer i have the plugin here let me just show you so this is the kind of effect that i got you can choose different type of films i use the kodak portrait 100 you have a lot of settings to play with basically applied a film grain a uh, halation and some bloom now is it better to use a plugin like dehancer well it just uh, removes the headache of uh, using a lot of nodes but you know what i i still wasn't satisfied with the result i mean you have a lot of controls in the dehancer but i just needed a little bit more so the last option was to manually uh, adjust every settings in davinci resolve and obviously that's what i did so let me just show you my note tree first of all let's look at the basic adjustment that i made okay in this node i have just adjusted some of the color wheels uh here i have adjusted gamma a little bit in the color wheel section i have moved the dark uh, wheel towards the reddish side and uh, then in the curves to give it a little uh, faded effect i made a little j curve and move the shadows or the darker parts to the upper side okay so this you don't have to do because uh, in my camera i'm recording in 4k and i'm not using any picture profile so uh, it to uh, increases uh, the sharpness a little too much so that's why i've increased the radius to blur the image so if you move it uh, like this it will blur more and if you decrease it it will increase the sharpness next part was a uh, film grain so i am using uh, davinci resolve default film grain and uh, i think uh, these are also the default settings i have increased the grain uh, strength the default was dot 149 but i am increasing it to around 0.826 yeah then uh, i use some halation uh, halation is basically a kind of glow that you can see around the edges this is the halation it is very common practice to use a halation effect in to create a more cinematic vibe and uh, the final thing that i used was a uh, glow so like i didn't want to apply a lot of halation effect because it is more towards a reddish uh, glow i just wanted to increase uh, what do you call it uh, some haziness in the shot so that's why i used glow 
it gives you the hazy look uh, that you see in a lot of gox videos which i really like i definitely recommend do check out his channel uh he has i think uh two or three channels now but yeah his cinematography is on another level so yeah that's all the effects that i applied so it's it's a uh, basic note traits not like something uh, out of the box but yeah it gets the job done dehancer was good uh, but i think i have more control over the shot uh, through this uh, method okay so that's all for this video and remember i didn't use any picture profile on my camera and i'm using a sony zv e10 and i think for a 8 bit camera it's pretty good but if you want to do color grading then i recommend you choosing pp6 i think it's the cine2 profile i'm not recommending any s logs or hlg is a little better than s log and i really like the colors that come out from the hlg profile but uh, for uh, color grading i recommend you uh, the cine2 profile i hope you like this video and uh, i'll see you in the next one for the timing keep creating bye